Hello from Myrtle Beach. We're here to ride this beautiful sky wheel on this gorgeous day. We're down here at the boardwalk area. We're gonna take you along with us for a ride on the sky wheel. Hi, I'm Carmen, and if you're new to our channel, we cover everything Myrtle Beach and the surrounding area. And if you're a return viewer, welcome back. Glad to have you. Here's the main entrance. So we're gonna go up, get our tickets, and get on and take a ride. Right up here is where you get your tickets. And by the way, they do have annual passes as of now. At the time of this recording, adults are $16.99, children are $12.99, and under two are free. And then here's where you wait in line to get on the sky wheel. Also right next to it is the Land Shark Bar and Grill. All right, we are in. Uh, a good tip is to come early. We came early and there was no line, which is really nice. Thank you. Down to gate three, four, nine, okay. Nine. Thank you. Okay, great. Thank you. All right, here we are. You ready to take off, Brian? Let's do it. Let's blast off. <laughs> so we've talked about this ride in some of our other videos, but in case you haven't seen it, you do have air conditioning, which feels good. It's not super cold in here, but it's, it's a good temperature. You're not burning up in the summer. And also another thing to keep in mind is this is not a thrill ride unless you're terrified of heights. It does go high, but it does not go fast. Um, so this is a pleasant, fully enclosed, I don't know what the limit of people, but I'd say you could comfortably see, I'd say six adults, but more if you have children. Um, and also, to the best of my knowledge, they never pair you with other people. It's always just your private cabin. I'm, I don't know if that's different when it's really crowded. If you know different, leave it in the description below. And if you're enjoying this video, let us know by giving us a thumbs up. We'd appreciate that. We are going to keep track of the time. It is 11.06 now, so at the end of the video, we'll let you know exactly how long the ride takes, but I'm going to include this time that we're sitting here as well, just so you'll have an idea of how long the whole process is. And away we go! So if you're totally new to Myrtle Beach, the Sky Wheel is on the main boardwalk in Myrtle Beach. Uh, a good place to come and park is 9th Avenue and the intersection of that and Ocean Boulevard. The views on this are just incredible. We've got views of the Thrill Park that's right across the street with the extreme thrill rides. We've got the Funplex right down the street there. And then, wow, look at this. I mean, this is breathtaking. So right now we are right at the very top of the sky wheel, almost right about now. Beautiful views. I can't get over how calm the ocean is today. That is eerie calm. Beautiful. Looking down there, you can see the gay dolphin and the rest of the boardwalk. If you're interested, we do have a tour of the boardwalk. So I'll link that in the description below. Got to keep a couple people swimming down there. And here we go on the descent. What's going on in the water there? There is something in the water. That probably won't show up on the film, but yeah, it's interesting. Either really strange current or there's maybe dolphins. It's really hard to tell from this distance. the pools at the hotel. So this is also part of the boardwalk over here. This path right down here. More people swimming. That's the 14th Avenue Pier there. And the pier in this direction is the 2nd Avenue Pier and the Wicked Tuna restaurant is there. Now we're coming back down. All right, let's take a different view this time. There's the people behind us. Hello. That's fine. And uh, so this is Ocean Boulevard. And there are lots and lots 
Oh, and by the way, that's one of the only public restrooms in this area right there across the street. It's good to know if you're hanging out at the beach. And this is Ocean Boulevard where all the main attractions are. It's the main strip. So that's another look down Ocean Boulevard. And, oh, this just doesn't get older. This is the best view right here. <laughs> day for it today. I'm going to switch seats here, get a different view. Wow. Not too many people out on the beach just yet. Like I said, it's right after 11. You see all the umbrellas looking down the beach there. Looking back down at Ocean Boulevard. Hi, Brian. Looking this way, and there's Plyler Park right down there where that statue is. Pretty cool seeing things from a bird's eye view. It's a different different perspective for Myrtle Beach. And short of doing a helicopter tour, this is about as high as you're going to get. People have asked me if this is higher or if um, the Ferris wheel at Broadway at the beach is higher, and this is absolutely higher. However, I will say that Ferris wheel does have a great year as well. It's a different kind of view and also there's a couple of thrill rides at Broadway at the beach that you can see the ocean from because they're so high and I'll link a description to the rides at Broadway at the beach in the description below. Yeah this is definitely a great time so we got here just a little before 11 and they literally did not start selling they're probably so tired of doing that they wave every time we go by they did not start selling tickets until 11 on the dot so that's something to keep in mind too uh, so even though they open at 11 it's the ticket booth that opens at 11 uh, but if you have an annual pass if you decide to splurge on that um, you would not have to buy tickets you just go straight and get in line so i guess that's a perk to your annual pass but i'll be honest the annual pass is pretty expensive i think uh, i'm not saying the value is not there but it's uh, about 50 bucks a person, and there's no discounts because they already consider that discounted. And since the adult rate is $16.99, you'd need to write at least three times to get your money's worth. So you know, if you're a frequent visitor to Myrtle Beach, uh, or if you really love the sky wheel and you know you're gonna ride a lot on one trip, it could definitely be worth it. I'm actually excited to be able to come to the boardwalk and just anytime we want if there's not a line pop on the sky wheel. I mean, that's kind of cool. Well, if you're staying at a hotel close by, it's definitely worth it. Just in case you can't hear Brian, he said if you're staying at one of these hotels close by, it could definitely be worth an annual pass because you could just ride it multiple times a day or every day on your trip. So that's a good point. A couple of boats out there today. You usually don't see boats as close to the shore because it's too rough. So it's kind of interesting to see the boat. Everybody's out taking advantage of this amazing, I mean, amazing water. Straight down. Over here, straight down. There's the top of the land shark. We're getting closer here. Pretty neat. It's actually been years since we've done this. We have a very, very old video. Uh, the day I wrote it, I didn't have my camera with me, so I had to borrow someone, so it's not the best video. And I think that's the last time I wrote it, and that was years, like a lot of years ago. Employees <laughs> waving again. <laughs> they look so excited. <laughs> All right, this time when we get to the very top, we will uh, look straight down from this side, see what that looks like. Yeah, this is really neat. I will speak to the AC there. Um, I was wondering if it's because they have the doors open. No, it's pretty warm in here, wouldn't you say? I mean, I'm not burning up, but oh, you feel pretty good? Okay, so just a difference in people. Like I said, it's better than the outside air temperature, but it, this is not like super cool. So don't expect it to be super frigid. 
I mean, I think it would be hard to keep a glass box in the sun <laughs> completely cooled down. All right, here we go. There's just a parking lot on this side, but it gives you an idea again of how high we are. I love the Skywheel's addition to the Myrtle Beach skyline. It really makes it stand out on the boardwalk. I think it's pretty cool. Here we are at the highest point again. Really neat. Oh, just can't get over the water. Oh, that's funny. I can see a school of fish down there. Again, it probably won't show up on the film. It's pretty neat. Good view. I mean, this would be a good way to see dolphins or something, especially if you have binoculars. That's an idea is bring binoculars with you. Gorgeous day. Gorgeous weather. I mean, it's kind of funny because we're technically into the beginning of the off season, but the weather is still summer-like. It's high in the 80s. It's high humidity. People are still swimming. The ocean water is still warm. So it still feels like summer, basically, uh, but with less people. And there's, there'll still be crowds. I mean, don't get me wrong, but it's not like the summer at all. It's much different, more pleasant. All right. We even looked out. We must have been some of the last people. I think one group got on after us, so we didn't yeah. have to sit for very long which means it's going to be a while before we get off, I think, which is also cool, so we can enjoy the different views as they unload, because I think that was our third round, right, Brian? That was our fourth, I think. Oh, fourth, wow. I thought that was third. I guess I'll count when I go back and edit this video. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it was only three rounds, but it must be longer than that. Or maybe they've changed it. Like I said, it has been literally years since we've ridden this. We've run it a few times in the past. It's just been a while. Great activity with your family, though, with friends. We've run it with Brian's family. We, I've run it with my parents. It's a great thing to, like, if you have guests in town or if you have friends staying with you at your beach place, if you have one, that kind of thing. This is a fun thing to do for sure. All right, we have stopped almost at the top and uh, the guys in front of us are a little higher than us, but we're almost at the top. Oh, now we're moving again. They're unloading now because they paused for a couple of minutes. So we're now unloading. So yeah, this is great view while you're uh, unloading because it's kind of nice how they stop. I actually got to take a few really good still photos. So that's pretty neat. And today the sky will is nowhere near full, so I'll say that. Um, keep that in mind. The time I'm going to give you at the end of this video where I tell you how long it took total will not be accurate if this was completely full. Um, it would be, you know, a much different number. Some people bodyboarding over there. I would say maybe tops there's I don't know wouldn't you say like four or five families on here I mean there weren't many people they got on yeah 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 so this is nowhere near full so yeah just keep that in mind when I give this number it's not going to be what it would be if if the sky wall was full it'd be a much longer ride so you know like that way if you're planning to eat out somewhere have reservations you can build in some extra time Looks like we're about to get off and we go this way I believe thank you and away we go well was that fun if you've enjoyed this video be sure to click on the video on your screen right now and click subscribe so you won't miss anything new thanks so much for watching until our next adventure